Hi, my name is Nienke and today I want to show you three different ways to use sketchbooks. The first way is to use it as a diary. So these I kept as a diary, which means that I drew in them every day. The size is a bit smaller and sometimes I found time to like drew very elaborate pages, but also sometimes I drew in them very sketchy and fast just to put something on the page. The fun thing with these is when I flip through them and these are like from 2014, so that's a long time ago. But when I look at them, most of the times I still remember, okay, I was doing this on that day, just because you remember how you felt while you were drawing this. And also, for some reason, I just remember things way better when I draw them than when I take a picture. So let me show you what's in them. I have a page here. This is more of an elaborate page. So I probably had like an hour or so to do each of these pages. So one of them is me sitting in the train and one is me sitting and watching a movie. And some other ones, I also found pages that were done very quickly. So in this one, I drive my whole day in symbols. Meaning I start with my alarm, I put on some clothes, ate breakfast, probably had coffee, took out some clothes, put on makeup, rent on my bike to the city, up the stairs. And then in another one, I drew more activities. So this one is a recipe that I cooked for the first time. And this one is of a day where I helped some friends moving more exploring with different kinds of materials. So I have a gold marker here that I wanted to try out. This is me drawing my breakfast and I write on them as well. Nothing better than breakfast. My favorite meal is breakfast, obviously. This is also me painting a ceiling and a drawing of one of my plants. Oh, I remember this one. I went on a trip to the mountains and I brought this sketchbook with me. And in one of the supermarkets there, I found this calligraphy pen. So you can combine lettering with drawings, which is really fun. A different way to use your sketchbook is to use it for practicing. And by that, I mean practicing different, drawing different objects, people, animals, you can do this either from your imagination or you can use reference to draw from. The first example I have of this is this sketchbook that I used to go to museums with. I remember this drawing. I went with a group of people to a museum and they had some birds in the museum and I drew them. I remember they had huge birds so I took up the whole page with this one. I use different materials in my sketchbook. So this is a page with pencil, but other pages are with ink. In this sketchbook, I was trying to learn about drawing trees. So I found some different pictures online and I started drawing different bonsai trees. I really enjoy the shapes that the leaves have. And also I was drawing different plants. Here are more trees. As you can see, I use marker for these to figure out the, um, the shapes. And underneath them, I use a very light pink marker. And then on top I drew with fine liner. This is another page of plants. Some of these are plants in my house and also some pictures I found online. Also a bit more birds. These were from pictures that I found online. I used different markers for these to give them a bit more color. And on this side of the page, you find some mushrooms, more trees, more plants. I love the shape of trees and plants. I think they're so fun to draw and explore and there's also so many different kinds of trees and plants that you can just keep on going forever. Here's another page. Um, this page I was drawing, trying to practice drawing fish 
And maybe this is a bit more boring to see, but this is where I practice drawing different shapes, squares, circles, and uh, figure out how they fit together. This is more an example of a sketchbook where I draw more from my imagination. So in this case, I wanted to try to figure out a concept of a skull that was like in something. Also sword designs. So this is me figuring out different shapes that they can have, like what the top of the sword will be, um, the materials. And this is another fun page where I'm figuring out how to design a teapot. And backpacks. So this is all from my imagination. So I use both my sketchbooks to draw from imagination, but I also use them to draw from reference. This is another example of a sketchbook that I brought with me to figure drawing class. So in this one, you'll find a lot of different figures, different costumes, different poses that people have. I also use my sketchbooks to go out, um, sit in different coffee shops and draw the people that are sitting there. So a third way that I use my sketchbook is to take it with me to different places and environments. I sit down and I take some time to draw out whatever I see around me. Uh, the first example of this is this living room. This was drawn around Christmas time, so therefore there are some decorations around here. This is from a trip I took to Ghent, where I sat down next to the canal and I saw this beautiful house and I took one or two hours to draw it out and color it in. This is from a trip that I took with a few friends where we all sat down in our car and drew the scenery that was in front of us. We sat in our car because it was very cold. Um, so it was better to draw inside of the car where it was nice and warm instead of outside where it was freezing at the time. This was from a trip to Leuven where I found this beautiful gate and sat down to draw it. This was from a time with my Urban Sketch Group where we draw cakes. It was a very fun day. Everyone brought something that they baked. So cookies, cakes, candies. And we first put it all on the table. It was a very pretty table. And before we started eating it, we all drew for like an hour or so. And then when everyone was finished with their drawing, we ate the cakes, of course. So this is from a place where they restore old ships, where I could sit down and draw my drawing. And this is a drawing that I drew at the market. So these were three different ways that I use my sketchbooks. I'm super curious in what ways you use your sketchbooks, so let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!